Hello, I'm Ray Moda, and welcome to another Analyst Update. In this edition, we're going to talk about some of the service provider trends as they're related to cloud computing. We're going to talk about some of the projections, some of the drivers, and then some of the things that service providers should look out for. Now, when you're a service provider, it's really important in order to develop good services that apply to the customers is you need to understand some of the current aspects of what's going on in the enterprise space. And one of the biggest ones in this current market is the economy. The economy is really, in a way, actually accelerating the need to deploy cloud services. And what we're seeing is that the economy is kind of highlighting the fact that these enterprise customers need to leverage technology in order to boost productivity, in order to boost profitability, and to enhance customer service. So as a carrier, by knowing some of these criteria, you're able to develop applications and what some of these requirements are so you can deploy successful cloud services. Now, when we talk about cloud services, it's real and it's here to stay. ACG is very optimistic about the cloud services. We, have a, we actually have the market to be projected in 2012, about $30.4 billion market, and we have an aggressive CAGR moving forward with that. We do see a lot of enterprise customers deploying what we call enterprise private cloud solutions. And really the motivation for a lot of that is because it's really driven uh, because of concerns of security, some scalability with their data, or just some of the lack of trust that's going on. But at the same time, we do see that a lot of carriers out there, or service providers, are actually deploying virtual private cloud networks. And in the long run, we already see rapidly some of these virtual private cloud networks displacing some of these enterprise networks when a lot of these enterprise look at the economics and the ROI. So from a virtual private cloud perspective, ACG has a CAGR of 22% for virtual private cloud and a CAGR of 13% for enterprise private cloud and that actually declining over time. So it's, un it's important to understand that transition that's going on in the market. Now there's other, there's three things that I think you should consider when you're a service provider is what we say you should look out for. The first one is what we call aligning yourself with a vendor that enables you and doesn't compete. And what we mean by that is while you're busy out there developing your cloud services, whether it's infrastructure as a service, platform, software as a service, you do have to take the time and do the inventory and analysis on the vendors you align yourself with. Make sure that these vendors aren't competing with you. It doesn't make any sense to try to do that. And an example of that would be Hewlett Packard. HP recently announced a public cloud solution that in, HP, in ACG's opinion really competes with a lot of these service providers existing cloud services or some of the cloud services that are looking to be deployed. So very vital lookout number one is to align yourself with a vendor that enables you to be successful in the cloud space as opposed to competing with you. Number two, pricing. When we talk about pricing, we talk about value-based selling. Now, you've heard that term a lot, but it's not really that easy to do. It's complex, and probably the best way to position yourself is that you need to think of the mindset in changing the language from pricing per device to pricing per employee. An employee has multiple devices, so if you can try to change the language and move up the stack and do your pricing model, for per employee or per user, per location or per engagement, you're able to increase your profitability and your ARPU because that is a high executive language and people focus, CIOs and CXOs, understand employee productivity as opposed to just pricing per device. Number three, connectivity. A lot of these service providers have some very brilliant and excellent connectivity salespeople. But as you deploy cloud services, don't assume that they make the proper transition by just status quo. You need to make sure that in your go-to-market strategy and your product development of execution, you need to have the proper training so that these connectivity salespeople know how to transition from selling connectivity access to cloud services. And like that, in the long run, it'll win. It'll take some pain points, but you need to make sure they're properly trained. This is Ray Moda with another analyst update. Thank you very much.